Hello beta players! Lots of new features have been added to the game for our Yuletide release, all of which are playable now. As you can see, Strand is looking a little more festive, and we finally finished adding all the classes for the faction's launch, with a total now of 12 unique characters and another 12 in development for the single player campaign. In the last survey we sent out, tutorials were the top requested feature. We're currently in progress making a fully featured step-by-step -step tutorial that walks the player through the game. In the meantime, we've also added question marks to each page that give helpful explanations on how to play the game. Within each character, you can also click the ability icon to see detailed description of how to play the game. Now in combat, click on any portrait to see what that character can do, or click the ability button to see a full description of your ability. Combat has tons of new and helpful features. We've added a Mead House combat map and a beach scene. The beach includes obstacles that greatly change the dynamic of combat. Additionally, using an ability will now display an icon to show that it's still active, so you can easily see at a glance whether there are arrows in the air or if your ally is maliced. Aside from tutorials, the next most common feedback was that the end game became brutal when the last remaining unit will get a turn every round, sweeping across his opponents with reckless abandon to win fights even though he was greatly outnumbered. To address this imbalance, we've added a new feature. When one team has only a single unit left, players go into pillage mode, which allows each unit to move in order. This creates new strategies, shortens the end game, and curtails the frustration of losing turns when you're winning. Our newest feature is the horn. For each kill you make, you receive one star on the horn, which can be spent later to restore some of your current character's willpower. This also promotes more dynamic combat and lets you make tactical decisions about whether to kill or maim, and whether to spread out your bonuses or save them until the end of the match. In the future, the horn will be expanded to hold different powers, each with a unique function that encourages players to make custom-fitted teams. Back in town, we've added a variety of community features, including the Hall of Valor, where players can see their rank on the leaderboards in categories for ratings, win-loss ratios, games played, and win streaks. This allows us to match players based on their ranking to create the most evenly balanced opponent available based on your skill level. Most screens in town now have global chat, including the Versus Match screen, which lets you talk to anyone online while you search for a battle. You can even chat globally during combat. Base classes are now available in the Mead House, and include descriptions of how they can be upgraded to give players an overview of the available classes. Recruit the new character, upgrade his stats with Renown, and promote him into any of the advanced classes. All of this new content, including finishing classes, tooltips, pillage, and horn functionality are essential to the single player game, and are being rigorously balanced as we speak. Come back and give it a try over the Christmas break, and we'll see you again in the new year. Thanks for watching.